Rotating an image by 90 degree steps in Pygame works quite well and can be done quickly using the transform method. But when we try to rotate the same image by any other angle to try to make it point at something like the mouse cursor for example, it doesn't seem to work. In this video, I'll show you how to rotate the image around its center point and how to make the image point at the mouse cursor. We'll begin with this starter code that loads in an image of the turret, defines the x and y coordinates and then blitz the turret there. I already have a rotate method set up here as well, and I'm passing zero degrees to it for now so the image is unrotated. You can get the starter code and the image from the link in the description. If we run this, we get a static image of the turret roughly in the middle of the screen. In order to make the turret point at the mouse, we first need to calculate the angle of rotation, which will require some trigonometry. We have the coordinates of the turret, and we can get the coordinates of the mouse cursor. This allows us to calculate the x and y distances between the two points. Finally, we can use some maths to calculate the angle that these three lines make. We begin by getting the mouse coordinates. So underneath this screen.fill section, I'm going to paste in some code, which is going to be pause is equal to pygame.mouse.getPause. This will save the x and y coordinates of the mouse in the pause variable. We can then use this new pause variable as well as the x and y coordinates we defined for the turret to calculate the x and y distances between the two points. Note that since the pause variable is a tuple containing the x and y coordinates, we can access the x coordinate by accessing index 0 and the y coordinate by accessing index 1. The y distance is a negative value and this is because Pygame y coordinates increase down the screen. Next we will calculate the angle but for this we will need the math module. So at the top here we need to import math. Now we go back down in the game loop and just underneath this section where we calculate the x and y distances, we can calculate the angle. Now I'm not going to get into the details of the trigonometry here, but what we need to do is call the math module, then calculate a tan 2 and pass the y distance and the x distance as the two arguments. This will return the angle, but it's going to be in radians. We need to convert it into degrees. So we wrap all this in a set of brackets and at the beginning we add math.degrees. Now I can update this rotate method to replace the zero with this new angle variable. If we run this, we can see straight away that there are a couple of things wrong. Firstly, the turret doesn't point at the mouse, but rather it's perpendicular to it. And secondly, the turret is moving all over the place. The first point is easy to fix. The turret is pointing up by default, but using our calculations, when the mouse is above the turret, the calculated angle would be 90. So we need to account for this and subtract it from here when rotating. Now the turret angle is offset by 90 degrees. If we run this again, now the turret is following the mouse a little bit more accurately, but it is still moving around the screen a lot. To visualize what's going on, we need to show the image's background, which is currently transparent. To do this, I'll temporarily change this convert alpha to just convert. Now you can see what is going on a bit more clearly. As the image rotates, it gets bigger, and this is what gives the impression of the turret moving about. In reality, the turret is staying in the center of the image, but as the image gets bigger, it looks like the turret moves. Notice that the top left of the image doesn't change. That is the coordinates that we're passing into the blit method. To resolve this, we need to change the way the image is drawn on the screen. Rather than drawing it from the top left corner, we want to draw it from the center. To do this, we're going to create a rectangle from the rotated image down here. Then just below this, I'm going to add a line to say turret underscore rect is equal to turret dot get underscore rect and in here I'm going to pass the center of the rectangle as the x and y coordinates. I can now update this blit method here so that rather than passing in the x and y coordinates, it's automatically blitted at the turret rect position. Lastly, we update the x and y coordinates up here so that the image is positioned in the middle of the game window. If we run this again, you can now see that the turret is staying in the middle as it rotates around the screen. You can still see the black background getting bigger and smaller, but since the image is being drawn from the middle rather than the corner, it doesn't affect the turret's positioning. We can now hide that black background by adding in convert alpha once again. And that's it. Now you've got a turret correctly following the mouse cursor and rotating around its center point. If this video was helpful to you, then please leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.